All right. So the first question is, can you describe the incredible legacy of these characters and this series and what made Marvel decide to bring it back? Uh, X-Men has an incredible legacy. It's uh, it's it's almost 60 years old uh, or over 60 years old. Um, and, you know, we we love these characters. Uh, every single person that worked on the show um, uh, loves these characters, knows these characters and is a fan of the original series. Um, for me personally, the original show was seminal and uh, influential on my um, on my life as a storyteller and a creator. Um, and uh, uh, and it's true um, uh, among so many filmmakers we meet with uh, that that the original show is influential on on them and their work. Um, and it's just exciting to bring it to the to bring it to the screen. Awesome, thank you. What elements of the original series had to be maintained and what did you want to update, change, enhance, et cetera? So, so from the beginning, we wanted to um, emulate our memory of the original show. So the original series, you know, it actually has stylistic shifts throughout each season, uh, if you watch it all in a row. And, and we we analyzed it. We met with um, uh, uh, um, uh, Eric and Julia Leewald and Larry Houston, who who became consultants on the show, and really were able to explain why they made the choices they made that led to the aesthetic of the original series. And it was on us to to create stylistic guardrails to for, so that we could we could we could always go back to that 90s style um, of, you know, of, of, of soft curves and, and big muscles and, um, and too many packs and straps uh, and big, bold colors um, uh, uh, that, that, that made it feel like the, like the OG show. Nice. All right. Can you describe the balance of action and adventure with the weightier themes that X-Men is known for? Um, you know, they, they're characters that, that fight for a world that fears and hates them. So, um, there's a lot of conflict, uh, and angst just inherently in the story because they want to be accepted by society. Um, and, and it's a, it's a society that sees them as, as a, as a threat. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of self-evaluation and soul searching that happens within these characters just because of their predicament um, at the time and place that they live on the, on, uh, on the planet. But, but because they're together, because they're in a school, because they're in a, uh, a space, because they work on a team, um, there's a lot of character drama. There's a lot of romance. There's a lot of tension. Um, and there's, there's a lot of conflict that happens between, you know, characters that we love. And one of the things that makes the X-Men the X-Men is 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 how 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 many sparks they make when they when they collide with each other. Awesome. All right. So where does the series pick up and what are the X-Men dealing with as the series gets underway? So the series picks up um, uh, just after Charles Xavier is is presumed dead. Um, uh, he was assassinated. And if you know the original show, you know that like, you know, he he never actually dies on screen. In fact, he's launched into outer space to go visit Lalandra, um, uh, his empress girlfriend on a faraway planet <laughs> to see if they can heal him. Uh, and <clears throat> and in our first episode, we see that 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 there's a, actually a death certificate for Charles Xavier um, and it leaves Cyclops in a place where he has to lead the team um, <clears throat> and he does so successfully. But in an ironic twist, which is very X-Men, <clears throat> turns out Charles Xavier left the school uh, and all his fortune and the team to his, his old friend and, 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 and biggest rival, Magneto, who becomes the new leader of the X-Men. Nice. Uh, you may have already answered <clears throat> part of this, but how do the episodes progress and what can fans expect? Um, so <clears throat> it's a, so the, the episodes progress, you know, week by week and there is, there, there, there are, there are, there are no insignificant episodes. Uh, it's a 10 episode series. 
Um, each one moves the story forward in a bold way. Uh, so it, it feels like just like the original series, which was the first serialized piece of content that I ever saw, there was a, um, you know, you had to watch the next episode to find out what happened. That's, that's the way X-Men 97 is designed as well. Okay, great. Uh, how would you describe the animation style? So, um, it is, it's an intentionally retro style. Uh, we are trying to emulate the nineties. Um, and, and it's easier said than done. You know, we, we live in, you know, and, and make work in 2024 where, um, almost anything we can conceive of can be conjured on screen. So, so, you know, um, through many conversations with the, with the, with the original show creators and our design team, we were always arcing ourselves back to the nineties. You know, we're, we're, you know, for example, we're all, we're all fans of anime and, and it's very easy to kind of go in a very angular direction and a very dynamic kind of like, like, you know, deep space uh, uh, choreography. And we had to put limiters on ourselves to make it feel like the old show. That meant, that meant curves, that meant bold lines, that meant, um, that meant flat space uh, and, 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 and not moving on the Z axis unless we really had to. Now we break those rules um all the time but we break those rules with a lot of intention so for example in the first episode when the jet gets ripped open by a sentinel and cyclops flies out you know suddenly we move in deep space and it just brings the whole thing to to life in this in this in this impactful way um so so we have a we have kind of a code of ethics and then we intentionally break it when we need to emphasize something uh uh, uh um to to kind of have a massive impact Cool. What drew you to the Newton brothers and how does the music enhance the storytelling? So, so the, the Newton brothers, you know, they're amazing musicians. Um, uh, they are, uh, they, they, like everyone else on this show, um, they love the X-Men and they love that original series. So when we met with them, it became very clear, very quickly that they were um, the right guys for the job. And you know, they obviously, you know, re reworked and reorchestrated throughout the series that iconic X-Men theme, but they also took in the entire score from the original series and, and were able to modernize it and um and enhance it in certain ways. But like the art style, we're we're going for a feeling, we're going for a vibe and 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 had to um you know, we're we're guided by the same by the same light we all were, which was to which which was to um, revive our memories of this thing. So what do you think uh, will surprise fans about the new series? There's a lot that's going to surprise fans about the new series. Um, uh, the The story has twists and turns that you don't see coming. Um, it has extreme highs and extreme lows. It, it makes you laugh and um, and and it makes you cry. I mean, there's episodes that I've seen, you know, over a dozen times, and I still cry <laughs> when I watch them. Um, uh, uh, so there's lots there's lots of surprise audiences with this one. Awesome. Uh, two more questions. What does it mean to have this title launch the brand? So there, there's there's no better uh, way to launch the Marvel animation branding than uh, than with X Men. Um, it was a it was a show that was so fundamental to to so many artists and creators that we've worked with over the years. Um, uh, as an animated show, uh, it was one of the most influential shows um, for a lot of people. You know, in, in my generation. And uh, and I can't think of a a, a, a more fitting way to uh, to to reveal the Marvel Animation logo. Awesome. Why was now the right time for this series? Um, you know, I remember uh, 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 when we first met with the Lee Waltz, um, they told us, you know, that they met with Stan Lee. Um, when they when they made the original show uh, and Stan how how much Stan supported them, um, and that you know they they would talk about um, how you know when they when 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 he and Jack launched the book in the '60s, uh, uh, 
those many of those social problems, um, you know, that the X Men deal with in their in their story uh, existed in the '90s, 30 years later, and now here we are, 30 years after that, um, and 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 we we still need the X Men, I think, as an outlet to have to have some of these conversations um, and to um, and to be a reflection of our world.